Him and the Fayetteville Marksman. Sailor drops the puck. Howsworth wins the draw, and we are underway. Keplinger and the Lawrence University product will slide a pass in the direction of Seamer. He is onside. He's dispossessed of it. Sets up Keplinger, who shot his block. Seamer from down on his derriere with a backhand shot. And Jake Moore's first professional save could not have come from a mere, more weird angle. As here's a quick shot by Seamer again, and he's denied a second time by Jake Moore. Be organized in their own end while the mayhem change personnel. A fresh five bodies out there for Leo Thomas. Big bad turnover. Trask moves in, shoots, fought off by Moore. He's denied Seymour and Trask in the first two minutes of play. Jake Moore having an outstanding. As uh, Levesque forces a turnover near the slot, it's whacked off his stick back to the line, held in the zone by Larry Smith, who tees it up, tries a slap pass across to Sutliff. Good intention by Smith, but it was nullified at the last moment. The marksmen have cleared it out of harm's way. Zach Tattern holds the line. He's on side as he joins in the rush. It's shoveled in behind the net now by Joe Osaka. Tattern goes down. He receives the pass in the corner by Keelick. Tattern is pinned up to the corner boards by John Seamer. And it's worked up the wall, kept in the zone again. It's Travis Jake kicking it up to his stick, pulling the trigger through traffic on net. Stick save Silvis. Whacked back behind the cage, and it's Zach Urban collecting it there for the mayhem. Urban delivers up to Josh Keplinger. He swivels through three, then sets up Sutliff wide open, shoots, and scores! Derek Sutliff has scored his 18th goal on the season. Second in as many games, and Josh Keplinger has his first assist with the mayhem. It's 1-0. Sutliff in the box for delay of game as Jake resends it to the top of the left circle. It's given out to the goal line, shearing up to Cook. Cook fires, fought off barely by Silva. He's got a piece of it with his glove. Jake from the right point. The Boston College product. We'll give Max Cook the pass near the outer half wall on the far side. Back to Jake in the high slot. Hammers a one-timer that flutters over the cage. Sheeran will rim it around. Back to Cook. Far half boards. Jake in the deep slot at the apex of the umbrella. McCormick right circle. Back to Jake again. Travis Jake delays. Cook tees it up. Sends it to the goal line. Side of the net. Stuff attempt a couple of saves by Silvis, and they finally score on the third or fourth shot. It's Mazurik tapping it in through the five hole of Ian Silvis. A power play goal for Fayetteville. And this game's all tied up at one. Again, it's a 1-1 tie at the Macon Centerplex. Shots favoring Fayetteville by a narrow 11-10 margin. We're back for second period action. The Mayhem with 47 seconds of carry over time on this Wild Wing Cafe power play, which is one for one tonight. Swivels across the blue line. Slides it over to Josh Keplinger. He will tap it back to Urban, who will feed Minerva. Minerva sidesteps one, then drops it to, Sat to Urban in the slot, whose one-timer is blocked, and it ricochets behind the goal line. Taylor Price has it on his stick now. He's able to jam it up to Urban, who springs a pass along for Keplinger. He will sidestep a check from Thacker and shoot. It's stopped by Moore. Moore races down the right side and wires it wide to the left post. Trask turns it down to Seamer in the corner, kicks it back to Trask. He's dispossessed of it, and the marksmen skate out with it. It's Max Cook sliding it over to Nolan Sheeran on the left wing. He will return it. Cook slides it into the slot. Mazurk to his backhand shoots. Silvis with the save. It pops into the near half wall. Jake Trask will initiate a counterattack with Urban and Seamer on his left. Trask's pass deflects behind the net. Urban is checked hard into the end wall by Max Cook, and the marksmen are out to center with it. And beyond that is Mazurk will haul it down his off wing and snap a shot from the right circle that's stopped by Ian Silvis. Caleb Cameron chips the puck free. He could get a two-on-one. Ronsberg joins in. The pass for Ronsberg. He shoots. Glove save by Jake Moore. His best save thus far in this game. Dick and the marksman commence a three-on-two the other direction. It's brought down the left side by Max Cook. Dropped off Howsworth with a one-timer. And a big save is made by Ian Silvis, who is sitting on top of the blue paint to make that stop aggressively. Seamer is in across the blue line onside on his off wing. And, and uh, Trask Try to shovel a pass down. It bounces back to Seamer. Outer hash marks, left circle. Seamer delays with it. Soper sets up at the goal line. Trask. Soper's calling for the pass. Gets it from Trask from down low. He will return it to the circle for Trask. Jake Trask up to the blue line. Bazovic sends it right back to him. Trask into the slot. Backhand shot by Cameron. Misses the left post. Soper collects it behind the net. Up to the circle for Seamer, who hammers a shot. Big rebound. Cameron missed the net wide to the left post with a second opportunity. Bazovic gets it from Trask, feeds it over. Seamer, touch pass, Trask left circle. He fires, blocker save it is made by Jake Moore, and the marksmen have returned to full strength. Bazovic's unable to keep the puck alive at the blue line. Was stickless right now, but he's staying in position. It's a long point shot. is stopped by Silvis. He covers up the hot potato with his glove in the crease, and now some pushes and shoves. Osaka threw a right at Jimmy Soper. Soper wants to go with him, but uh, the two of them are being separated by the two linesmen. 
It splices off the blade of Josh Keplinger, brought down the uh, right wing by Sheeran, who sends it at the net. Silvis bobbled it, but uh, no harm was done. Long Hail Mary pass finds Cameron lurking behind enemy lines. He drives. He is flattened into the goal. Will this be a penalty? I don't think so. It looked like it was a clean hit, but Cameron couldn't get any sort of shot off, obviously, as he was pummeled right into Jake Moore and dislodged the net. Minerva for Jarrett Cup up to Josh Keplinger. He feeds Jake Trask, joined by Seymour on his right. Trask clips it through. Seymour scores! John Seymour has given the mayhem a 2-1 lead. 11-26 remain in the third period, and Macon is back in front. Flutters around near Price. Keplinger did well to salvage possession and feed John Seymour, who puts it in front. Trask scores! Jake Trask has doubled Macon's lead. It's 3-1. He will scoop it up and begin to accelerate through his own zone. Now saucers a pass. Up to David Mazurik. He will send it back into the slot. It's shoveled at the net. Blocked by Smith. Tapped along for Keplinger, who makes the breakout pass to Jake Trask. Off of somebody's stick. Keplinger intercepts a clearing attempt. Shoots and scores. Make it four. Josh Keplinger with a four-point night. A goal and three assists. And a goal in all three of his first professional game. Jake Trask intercepts it from Keelick. Seamer in the slot for Keplinger. He scores again. Josh Keplinger with his fifth goal in three games. Virtually all on its feet now. Applauding the Mayhem's brilliant, heroic third period efforts in this game. Need I remind you that the score was 1-1 through the first 40 minutes of play. What happened?